Hello and welcome to Suspensions for Round 12. Sam Darcy from the Western Bulldogs has been charged with rough conduct on Braden Maynard. Dan Murray graded this as careless conduct, high impact and high contact and for this he's been given a two match sanction. Not too dissimilar from Peter Wright's action and he got four weeks, I guess because the opponent got knocked out because Maynard was able to play and he passed concussion protocols, it's only two weeks suspension. What are your thoughts on that? Taylor Duray from the Western Bulldogs has been charged with striking Nick Dacos in the first quarter. This was graded as careless conduct, low impact and high contact and with this he's been given a $2,500 sanction with an early plea. I think this one's fair, it doesn't look like a huge amount of contact and it doesn't look very forceful, so uh, yeah, I guess for me, I'm okay with this one. I really wish they would start issuing fines for flopping like this. It wasn't a forceful flop from Ginnivan, but I just hate this. He's trying to milk a 50 meter penalty, it sucks, get it out of the game. But that's not actually the incident we need to be talking about in this video clip. Jath from Hawks has been charged with misconduct on Mitch Hinge for his headbutt. This is a fixed financial sanction of $1,250. I think Mitch Hinge is very lucky to be getting away with nothing. As you can see, he's got his hand wrapped around Jath's throat. Um, that should be the same sort of fine in my books. Royal Marshall probably should have been paid the free kick for holding the ball here, but as he ta slam tackles Graham, he, he was probably a bit lucky not to get any sort of sanction from the MRO, as it does look like he hits his head on the ground. The MRO had nothing to do about this, so he's free to play. Josh Dacos from Collingwood has been charged with striking Lockie McNeil from the Western Bulldogs. This is a fixed financial sanction, which is a $1,250 fine with an early plea. Ryan Mansell from Richmond has been charged with striking Jake Collar-Jesney from Geelong in the first quarter. The MRO graded this as careless conduct, low impact and high contact for this very late hit, high hit on Jake Collar-Jesney. With an early plea, this can be downgraded to $2,500. Quite surprised Marlon Pickett didn't get a disorderly conduct or bringing the game into disrepute for this flipping off of the crowd. I wouldn't have thought that AFL would have liked that look, but apparently that's okay to do. I thought Soldo was pretty lucky to get away with nothing here, not even a fine. I guess you could argue he was going for the ball. He did make high contact with McGovern, so I thought the AFL might have looked at this, but maybe they did and they thought this was A-OK. -okay. And again, for this bump on Hewitt, Soldo received nothing. I think that's fine. I think it's just incidental contact, so nothing more to see. Very surprised that Taylor Walker received no fine for his strike in the back of the head of James Sicily. The ball's not even in play here. He's clearly frustrated, and he's gone two hands in the back of Sicily's head. Sicily may have exaggerated the contact, but regardless, Taylor Walker shouldn't be doing this. He's clearly hit him in the back of the head. That should have been a fine. Riley West from the Western Bulldogs has been charged with rough conduct for his hit on Jeremy Howe. The MRO graded this as careless conduct, medium impact and high contact. For this he was given a one match sanction which the dogs contested and it was overturned so he's free to play. To me it does look like he is going for a bump but I think he makes contact with Howe's hip first and then it sort of goes a bit higher. Howe definitely exaggerates the contact in my opinion and I don't think this should have been a one match sanction. I'm happy with this one being overturned. This could probably be its own entire video just because of what the MRO said in their case. But anyway, Harley Reid has been charged with rough conduct for his tackle on Darcy Wilson. This was graded as careless conduct, high impact and high contact. He was given a two match sanction. The West Coast Eagles took this to the tribunal and lost. So he is suspended for two weeks. In this day and age, every AFL player, no matter if you've only played 11 games, knows that this sort of tackle is not allowed, so two matches is fine by me. The other sanctions that happen, which I don't have footage of, Rowan Marshall was charged with tripping on Liam Duggan, that's a $2,500 fine. Jack Sinclair, Harley Reid, Paddy Dow, and Harley Reid again have been charged with careless contact with an umpire. They've all ranging from $1,250 to 1875 for Harley Reid times two. We also have Harry Edwards for his tackle on Max King. This happened in the third quarter. The MRO graded this as careless conduct, low impact and high contact. For this has been given a $2,500 fine. And that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week for the oddities. Thanks for watching.